What's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the market today. It's looking like it's taking a turn for the worse. I hope not, but if it is, we have to be ready. So we need to keep an eye on the market. So when we do make swing trades, we know what's going to be good or not. So just like a reminder to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to get the notification on this video and other swing trades that I'm putting out and like this video. Let's get right into it. All right, I got the SPX pulled up here, S&P 500. This is what a lot of people have their 401ks in. So I always like to look at this when I'm looking at the market because it gives me insight of what's going on. It's a little over 500 companies in the stock market. So it puts them all together and it spits it out here on the chart. You can see what happened in October. It just dumped straight down. And then we've been on a nice uptrend and I got a channel here that it's been going up. And I've been seeing this coming for a while now. This resistance right here is gonna be a very hard one to break. And sure enough, when it was going in this upward channel, it hit the resistance, stayed above it for a little bit, then it just spit it right back out. And then today it broke through the other resistance at 27.33. Zoom in here a little bit. And the market is still going on right now, so it's starting to pop up above it. So I'd like to see it stay above this resistance here at 27.35. But I'm just kind of worried, like, is this just the start of the market starting to collapse? This is the reason why we have money on hold, though. And just in case the market does decide to crash, so we're all ready to put money in on very good stops like Apple, Amazon at a very huge discount. So I know it's bad that I'm saying this, but I kind of hope the market does crash because I'd like to get some really cheap stocks. Let me pull back out here real quick. So this might be starting to form a head and shoulders. You can see here is one shoulder right here, and this would be the head. And then it might do with the other shoulder right here. So it might be starting to do that. So I have a feeling we have a little ways to go before if this thing is going to crash. I just want to pull up RDFN. This is the swing trade I did last here. So this is Redfin Real Estate. I personally got out of the swing trade because the market is starting to take a turn for the worse. And when the market goes, real estate goes with it. So I really don't want to be anywhere near this stock. So yeah, so if the market is going to start to crash, don't be afraid. I got some perfect stocks for this. You know, gold's always safe. And I also got some uh, Bear 3X ETFs that are going to be pretty good. Like the, uh, let's see what I got right here. I got one on my phone. Uh, the SPXS, that's the that's bear one for the SPY, so we can make a little bit of money on that. But uh, just gonna keep an eye on it, and if it starts to drop, it's gonna drop hard, but I think we got a little bit of time before that's gonna happen. Like I said, I think it's forming a head and shoulders, so we're gonna see about that. Just like to remind you to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so you get the notification on these swing trades and like this video. Uh, anybody wanna make any money out there? Huh? Well, the stock market is crashing, somebody's gotta make some money, so let's do it. 